Welcome back everybody. It's rare to have high school football on a Saturday, but today Thanks to Hurricane Sally, we do that this week. Four big matchups went down today, so let's start off with South Walton taking on Port St. Joe. These are two really well-matched teams because this one went back and forth the entire time uh, in this one. Picking things up with a minute left in the first half, Sharks led 25-24, to but not for long because South Walton's Addison Grady scores one last touchdown before the half, making it 30-25 to Seahawks. Sharks come out of the locker room ready to go. Quarterback Colin Amison with a bomb downfield to Jacob Hopper for the touchdown. Check out that A-plus dancing on the celebration, though. However, they go for two, but Amison taken down by Seahawks shooter McCoy. Sharks lead by one. That's not all the Seahawks defense can do. Sharks next possession. Amison throws, but Pierce Ferlin right there gets the interception, and that helps the Seahawks with this. Kemper Hodges launches that to Dalton Romano, who catches it, and he just keeps on running. There are no Sharks who can get him after that touchdown. The Seahawks hit it again, and it's 42 to 31 now. But the Sharks keep on biting. They cut that lead down going into the fourth, and they managed to hold on to this one, beating the Seahawks by just one point, 50 to 49 is that final score.